without proper data there is no use of having a generative ai model or application on your systems if you want real value out of your generative ai applications and models then you need to make sure that your data is of highest quality plus your data is processed properly llama index is one such framework or a bunch of tools which enables you to process or make your data ai enabled llama index has recently released a new version plus another cool tool which is called as pdf parse it is still in public preview and you don't have any source code available for that the only thing we have uh, available about pdf parse is an api call the whole idea behind pdf parse is that you give it your pdf document it processes that document and what makes it really different from other pdf parsers with ai is that it extracts the tables and figures quite nicely in my own experiments i have found out that yes it deals with the tabular data quite nicely but when it comes to diagrams and figures it still lags behind anyway but even if it can do tabular data properly i'm good with that because i have found out that a lot of tools in the market they are good with pdf extraction but when it comes to tabular data they struggle but pdf parse has shown a lot of promise now as i said it is just an api so you don't have access to this pdf parse you can't cannot really install it locally but yes you can uh, install llama index locally and then make an api call and it, before you make an api call you also need to set the api key for llama index cloud yes we have another cloud and we have another api so in order to do that go to cloud.llamaindex.ai and i will drop the link in video's description too once you go there sign up with your google account or whatever email you are using and log in there once you log in scroll down to the front page click on api key on the bottom left and from here generate your new key i already have generated my key here and you can delete and then uh, do another one okay so i'm back to my parse screen so that is all you need from this llama index cloud for the purpose of this video i will just use one pdf file with one table and we will install llama index with this pdf parse and then i will show you quickly that how can you parse the pdf files by using this llama index new tool and i'll be using google colab for that but if you have python installed anywhere you can do the same from there okay let's go to the google colab and this is my google colab let's first run change the runtime type to t4 gpu which is free from google thanks to google let's install llama index and llama parse let me run it it will take some time few seconds i guess it's not that huge so let's wait for it to get installed and as you can see that it is getting installed now while it gets installed on the left hand side you see the key icon here i have already set my llama cloud api key and open AI's api key because that is what i will be using in my google colab so make sure that you get both of these keys and store it here in the secrets just click on add new secret and add it there okay so i have it in my secret now let me click on plus code and just retrieve both of these keys and i am saving these grant access and i am saving both of these in my variable yes grant access that is great okay okay now let's set our asynchronous code and these two lines are relevant for the colab environment in the jupyter notebooks whether google colab or any other colab because when you're working with asynchronous code you might encounter issues related to running async task in a loop that's already running this is because the default async io event loop doesn't allow nested event loops so you cannot start an async task if there is already one running in the same thread this is a common issue when using libraries that require running async functions and that is where it helps to avoid such race condition sort of thing so i already have run it now once that's done we need to initialize our llama parse and we will be importing it from the module which we installed so all we are doing it we are importing the llama parse and we are doing the result type in markdown because that is what it supports and the language is english and then let's run it should it take too long here 
Okay, so what that it is, it's Peaky, which a Peaky, coin I already have. Okay, I think it needs to pick up the APA key, which I already have set. Let me, maybe I have put in the APA key name wrong. Let me check quickly. So what I have done here is I have just put in this Llama Cloud API key, which I have stored as a secret. And then I have added this line, which I shouldn't because uh, be doing because this is what the documentation has uh, written here. Maybe I could show you. So this is a documentation. It says that you could set it in your environment, which I already did. But anyway, let's run it. See if it works. Okay. So it, this time it works. So not only you need to save the secret, you also have to assign the secret key. Okay. That is fine. Now let's specify our PDF file. You can, I already have uploaded it here. So if I click on this folder icon, I have uploaded this table.pdf. You want to upload it from your local system. Just click on this um, icon and then upload the PDF file. Let me quickly show you the PDF file too. So this is a PDF file, which has one table with some headers and columns and rows. So this is what I'm going to parse with this Llama parser. So I'm just using the same parser, which we have just initialized here. I'm going to load the data. So let me run it. So it has started the parsing job and it already quickly did it. So speed is quite good. That is another thing I have noted because in a lot of PDF parsers, the speed is not good. But in this one, speed is very, very fast. And now let's print out what exactly it has extracted. So I'm just going to go with document zero, just getting the thousand rows. There you go. So you can see that it has identified the structure like disability category and then these are the rows here and if i show you the table again so you see that there is a disability header participant ballots completed and then in this first column we have blind low vision if i go back here you can see the same and you can see the data too and it is also segregated here in the markdown and this is what it has differentiated between header and the data so this is how easy it is to you know extract the tables from your pdf file and of course if you have any text it is also going to do that and then of course you can do a lot of things with this data you can put it in your retrieval engine query engine and then go from there so i will drop the link to this cloud uh, and use it it is still in the public preview so let me know your thoughts on it i give it full marks for tabular data plus speed that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.